Forget ChatGPT and any other traditional AI methods for working on your private label rights content. What I've discovered is going to change the way that you edit your PLR moving forward. And the best part, it's completely free. As a PLR seller, I'm always looking for new ways to teach people on how they can better edit and rebrand their private label rights content so that they can take the great content that I give them and make it even better, as well as make it completely unique. Now, PLR is the kind of secret weapon for a lot of marketers. It allows you to get so much more done by taking content created by someone that knows what they're talking about and not having to write from scratch. But the downside is, of course, if everybody gets the same content, how do we make it unique and how do we make it better? Well, we do this. So here we are over at Notebook LM, which is owned by Google and powered by Gemini 1.5 Pro. I recently made a video which showed you how you can use this amazing tool to create a podcast in one click and then use that podcast in a variety of different ways. There'll be a link to that video in the description. But for the PLR method, we're going to click on Try Notebook LM and then we're going to open up a new notebook. Now here we need to provide a source so that the AI can base its responses on the information that we provide it. Now we can use a Google Doc, a Google Slide, we can link to a website URL, or we can copy and paste some text. So I've got one of the PLR articles that I'm going to be providing my members in a couple of months. Now we can see that this article right now has a word count of 1,153. So it's a decent length article. It's already formatted. And if we come to the bottom, we've got our re references here as well. So this, in essence, is a great article. But if 50, 100, 1,000 people get the same article. People are going to want to make this unique. So if we come here, what I'm going to do is, in this particular case, I'm going to connect to my Google Docs, although I could copy and paste the text. So I'll go to Google Docs, and I'll find that particular article, which is this one here. We'll click on it, and we'll insert it. And it's going to pull this article in. And there are a bunch of things that we can potentially do with this to make this better. So we have a summary of the article here. So let's go through all of these options. So what we can also do is we can click on FAQ and it's going to provide us with a set of frequently asked questions. Now, with any article, whether it's PLR or something you've written yourself, you do need to, of course, verify the information that any AI tool gives you. You have to fact check it. You have to understand the subject matter. You want to double check it for accuracy, grammar and all of that stuff. But let's just, you know, for now, let's just kind of grab all of this and we can copy this and then what we can do is we can come back here to our article and I can just kind of come down to the very bottom I'm going to format it later but I can just go ahead and I can paste this in so now I've got FAQ that I can add to my article let's go back let's click outside and we click on notebook guide and it brings us back we could also add a table of contents so again we may want to edit the table of contents later on but we don't have to write it ourselves because Notebook LM is going to provide us with this table of contents that we can potentially then incorporate into our article. So again, it could be copy and paste, close that off, Notebook Guide. What else could we do? Well, if we go to Briefing Doc, let's click on Briefing Doc and see what this is going to give us. And while it's doing that, I'm just going to rename this Coffee World why just so that i know what it is and it's not just an untitled notebook and it's just a case of going through seeing this response and again we can basically copy this and we could you know take elements of this and input it into our article we could take this and rewrite it as a summary and put this at the end let's click outside let's click notebook guide We've done table of contents, we've done FAQ, we've done briefing doc. Let's click on study guide. Now, not all of these things are going to be needed for every single article. I just want to kind of take you through and just show you how simple this is. And the fact that this is completely free is just amazing. Now, I've not even shown you the best bit yet, but we'll get to that in a second. 
but we're just taking our article, we're copy and pasting what we get provided, we can dump it on here, and then we can spend a little bit of time to you know, format it, to move bits to where we want it. If you wanna change this to British English, cause I've got, you know, American, this gives me American English, but I'm from the UK, so I may wanna change this to British English, do that kind of stuff. You know, I've got Grammarly extension, I can run it through Hemingway AI to improve the readability. Let's go back. Okay, so it's not a study guide, but we could, you know, copy this and we could add this at the start. We've even got a quiz. We can take the quiz and we could have this as, you know, a fun interaction part. We could provide the questions and then we could have a button for people to get the answers. We could even have them opt in to get the answers if we, if we want to. We get the answers down here, by the way, in case you didn't know what the answers were. But another great thing that we can do is we can turn this into a podcast. We do that by clicking generate and just waiting a couple of minutes. Now, again, I mentioned I've got a video which delves into, delves sounds like a real AI word, doesn't it? Which goes into podcast generation using Notebook LM in more detail and taking that podcast and syndicating it and turning it into a branded podcast. So I've got video that shows you all of that stuff, but we'll just pause the video because this can take a couple of minutes. So we got there after a couple of minutes and we've got this 10 minute and 13 second podcast that has been automatically created. And if we press play, just have a listen. All right, coffee lovers, get ready to dive deep because today we're talking all things coffee. That's right. We're tracing that beans journey from the farm to your cup. And trust me, you'll be buzzing with fun facts by the end of this. <laughs> Pretty good if you ask me. Now, what would I do with this audio? First of all, I would click on these three dots and I would download it. I would probably compress the file, convert it into an MP3, and then I would turn it either into a branded podcast for my WordPress site, or I would share it on various networks. Now, again, I've got a video that shows you all of that information step by step, so you can go ahead and check that out. Again, there'll be links in the description at the end of this video, etc. But just by taking one private label rights article, we can click on these little things here, we can take elements of them, we can open up a new doc, take our main article and just add bits, copy and paste bits where we want, rephrase things. And if you still wanted to you know, make this content unique, there's nothing stopping you taking something like this and then maybe running it through a tool. So I could go over to Quillbot, for example, which is one of my favorite tools for paraphrasing. Just click on this copy and paste my text in there, and then I can choose the mode. So we, we don't want it really to sound more formal. So let's just click on natural, and then it's going to rewrite this stuff here, which is really, really cool. And we can copy this, and then we can switch out the paragraphs. Of course, you wanna proofread everything, make sure that it has chosen the right words, it's not made weird synonym choices, but for the most part, you'll be good to go. So with a little bit of work, you'll have a longer, more in-depth article than anybody else. Plus, you can potentially have an audio in there as well. And if you grab the PLR from my video content PLR club, you also get access to vertical videos, square videos, landscape videos, which of course you can incorporate into your article. I'll give you affiliate row the dexes and other stuff. So hope you've seen just how powerful Notebook LM can be for editing and improving any kind of PLR content that you may have bought. If you have any questions whatsoever, please let me know. I'll leave all the links and resources that I mentioned in the description. Thank you for watching. If you've got value, please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in another video soon. Take care.